Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a comedian who has taken the internet by storm with his hilarious videos. Take a look. A woman jumped in the lion's den at the Bronx Zoo, which is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. To put into perspective how dumb it is, the lion can't believe that she fell in. And the lion starts looking around in disbelief because it, it's like there's no way this has happened. Look at the lion. Where is Ashton Kutcher's? <laughs> Please welcome Ryan Davis! Woo! Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, hey. Yes! Uh, How you doing? How you doing? I love that green on yes, you. Yes! Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yes! Uh, listen. Uh. The lion couldn't believe how foolish yes. it was. Uh, when I saw the lion looking around, I was like, I knew. I knew at this point everybody was shocked. Right. The lion was looking for the zookeeper. Was, <laughs> yes. Could you there. get this woman out of here, please? Get in oh, there, I O U S. Okay. <laughs> yes. But you know, but a hundred million views, over a hundred yeah. million views on your internet show. I mean, how do you feel about that? It's insane, honestly. Um, I come from like a smaller mm -hmm. town in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that, you don't think it's actually possible. Mm -hmm. So when it happens, it's kind of surreal. But, yeah. you know, I'm enjoying the ride for sure. Yeah, yeah. you deserve it. You oh, deserve thank it. I you. Mean, you're hilarious. I, I love everything that I see. John Witherspoon, we know we recently lost him. Yeah. Did you look mm -hmm. up to him? Absolutely. It's, I think it's impossible to be, you know, an African-American in comedy. He's, I mean, his career has lasted from writing for... The Richard Pryor show yes. from the 70s all the way up until now. I mean, Boondocks, Black Jesus, mm -hmm. all the shows. So, I mean, he was kind of our father, you know, yeah. from the Wayans Brothers yeah. and yeah. everything. Like you, it's a, if you don't know, if he didn't influence you in some way, I think he's the one person who could say he's made everybody laugh. Yeah, I would agree. Yes. Yeah. Well, you're following in his footsteps. You're doing Curb Your Enthusiasm. You're doing yeah. Yeah. Your, That is show. so fun. The humor is so dry. I love it. It is yeah. so hilarious. God. So do you feel like acting is your, your next little... Uh, foray into the yeah, comedy arena? It is. I um I took the year off of touring to uh, audition and learn how to act. I, wow. No one told me acting was fun. That's it's what, super fun. It yeah. is. No one told me. All I could think about was how hard it is as people study it and all these things. No one told me that you could have a good time. And then I uh, auditioned for Curb, and Curb is uh, improv. Yes. Yeah. All, so all Curb of that is off the top of your dome? Improv. It's they so only funny. give you a scenario and they're like, bit. go. Yeah. Oh, I get a little bit. It's so funny. Uh, you, honestly, that's like my favorite show. Yes. Uh, it, it's, man, oh my gosh. He is so funny. He is I, so I funny. I just love it. Yeah, um, it's, I've realized how hard it is to keep a straight face in com when you're acting in comedy. Yeah. It's like, oh, you, you're enjoying it, but the, someone on camera goes, hey, 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 stop smiling. I'm like, but he's making me laugh. What am I saying? <laughs> right, Turn right. the camera. Yeah. Or just don't use this part. Let's talk a little bit about your tour really quickly. You're on a uh, national tour right now? Yeah, I'm going to start it again next year. This year I couldn't tour because I wanted to act. Yes. Yeah. But, um, if you don't come to Atlanta, something's wrong with you. Yes. So you got to make your rounds in Atlanta. I'd be I'd be crazy not to come down here. Cause then when you, especially when you're starting a new set, mm -hmm. Atlanta is going to let you know how good the material yeah. is before you share it with the rest of the world. It's you know? amazing. When, when I when I was checking you out the other day and not checking you, ah, you know, but That's listening okay. to you and the whole EBT thing, the E better today, <laughs> I, I lost my mind totally, fully, and completely. Everybody, you have to go and see his EBT sketch. It's Ryan so Davis hilarious. Is absolutely oh, thank you. amazing. But following fan, and thank you so much for coming by today. You're oh, always welcome you on the circle. Me. And be yeah. sure to follow him on Instagram for tour dates, including this weekend at Atlanta Comedy Theater in Atlanta. But if you're staying with us for the full hour, Ryan will be at the table, honey. You know we're going in. Oh, and God. all conversations <laughs> continue on social, Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. Yeah. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We're all good. It's a Friday. We're having a great time. We are here with our super funny guest, Ryan Davis, and we wanted to get his take on a few things we've all been talking about. Miss Quad, you got the first one, baby. Do I have the first one? Yes. I have no cards. That's okay. All right, well, but that's boom. okay. I'm, look, I don't need it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to talk about Chris Brown's yard sale. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Now, Ryan, would you have ever given people your personal home address? Oh, my God. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Do you think that it 
I, I mean, do you think it helped to sell the, the, the merchandise? What was going, what was going, what do you think was going through Chris's head at the time? He has great security. Yeah. That's what <laughs> right, it was, right? It, yeah. it was like, oh, I don't mind all these people coming to my house. They won't get anywhere near the door. Right. This was just, this was just him not having a storefront. That was all Do it you was. think he's going to sell his home after this? Because we think he's going to sell his home after this. It's going to oh, be on the market. No, nah, nah, I don't think so. Yeah. He doesn't have to. I mean, would you do that? This would is you? a lucrative business. The people that buy your trash. Right? <laughs> 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 Why would you change at this point? This is, so you'll have a yard sale at your home and give people your personal address. That's a grand opening. <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't have to pay for the storefront. Right. right. Yeah. You know, it's already People do pop-up shops all the time. All he just happened time. to do it at his house. Right. Yeah, I don't DJ know, y'all. I'm kind of nervous about that. He good. Yeah, he good. He don't know none of those people. Look. <laughs> he, don't, he don't know that little baby. <laughs> <laughs> he don't know that little baby. <laughs> listen, no, those man. are the people who buy his music and attend his concerts. Yeah. You know, it's coming out to show love. They want to, people want to buy the weirdest stuff from you. Yeah. That's all it is. What would you, what's the weirdest thing you would sell to the people? When I would sell to the people? Someone Eyelash. Offered, <laughs> someone tried to buy my shirt off of my back after a show. I was like, I sweated in this. He was like, I know. I was like, sir, leave. <laughs> Security. Right, 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 right. Well, you know, Michael Jackson's crystal-covered moonwalk socks, the infamous socks mm -hmm. that he mm -hmm. wore down to Look the award him. show when he <laughs> debuted moonwalk. Opposite. They're $100,000. Mm. Would you buy them? No. Yeah. Why not? You know you like to do the moonwalk. They 1983 socks, though. <laughs> <laughs> they can't be comfortable socks. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Those can't be comfortable socks. That's a lot. If you're Bloomberg, you might as well get them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I'm Bloomberg, I'm a buy. Right. right. Just right. for bragging rights. Right. Right. Yeah. right. That's the type of thing you own if you're a super fan. You know what I mean? That's if you plan to smell them. Okay. Like that's the type of <laughs> right. If you yeah. that fan, so then you, you run buy around it. smelling people's socks. Is that your fetish? I just said I wouldn't buy them. I fan. said super fan. Because <laughs> why else would you buy socks? So but they got them? the good diamonds on. He did the moon. The, the moon. No, but you can't wash them. The bedding starts in there. Take those about. socks to the cleaners. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. And wash them. And wash them. If you do anything to them, it, it compromises in the, the value. Yeah, yeah, I put them so in a you, nice little thing, and then they sat down the wall. It's got to come with a case. It's got to come with a case for all that. Got to come with a case. But you know, speaking of case and catching the case. The Popeye's oh, really? chicken sandwich is a back. Yes. And everybody's going crazy. As a matter of fact, I have one in the back right now. Wait, she really does. I really well, do. Yes, I do. Did you bring us one? Well, we can sh uh, we can cut it. Okay. <laughs> that means no. She didn't. So, bring us <laughs> what are your thoughts about the craze? I tried it. I had. Sex. Did you like it, Ryan? I would have fought anybody <laughs> over that sandwich. Thank you. Oh, Thank it you. Was a good sandwich, y'all. Really? Y'all have no idea. Oh. I bit into it. and I was like, I wish somebody would have skipped me. <laughs> And lying over this sandwich. The reason everybody who says it's not a big deal it haven't had the sandwich. They Watch it. you have the and don't get me wrong, no one's getting beat up or stabbed or anything. Well actually somebody did. No, it's over respect. All right. The sandwich brought us here. What <laughs> disrespect got you stabbed? <laughs> You do not pass me. I'm in this line 45 minutes. How dare you? Yeah, you, know, you don't have to wait as long anymore. Because right, they, are, they are prepared now. Yeah. Let me tell you, get a couple extra pickles on there. Let me tell you something about life and how it's gotten yes. in the world today. Don't so right. put a little coleslaw on the side. And, you know, put a little spoonful on there. Everyone's to get us. Oh my God! You can taste it. I can see it. Uh, I am consolidating. I'm a foodie uh, too. I know that look. I can't <laughs> look. When the show is Coleslaw. over, I'm gonna pop it right in the microwave and I'm gonna eat it. Mm. Oh, that is, and it's gonna be Popeye. good. Popeye. Regular food is good, man. Yeah. But that yeah. spicy chicken, you put that hot sauce, then put some honey on the chicken. Uh, <laughs> listen. So good. Okay, back to real life. Yeah. Lamar Odom has given his life to Christ. That's good. Hallelujah. Yes. That's good. That's Your real thoughts good. on that. Well, I'm just kidding. My thought is he is with an amazing woman. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yes. That's right. what's making him do that. Because dying in a brothel didn't make him t give his life to Christ. And this woman did, man. Almost oh, dying. Well, yeah, right. Man. Didn't make him change. Deep. Yeah, man. That's, that's, true. that's the power of a good woman. That is, is the power of a good woman. Look it at is. Gucci Mane. Look yeah, at Gucci listen. Man. Look at Gucci Man. Keisha Corey oh, got him around. Yeah. Yeah. He's Gucci Man now. Yeah. Oh, he's no. Gucci Man. He took yeah. the E off. Yeah. He's yeah. Gucci he ain't even no man. man no more. He's <laughs> 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 getting that money. 
funny. He, he even is. pronounces his words correctly. <laughs> I'm proud of Gucci, man. Right. I am proud of Gucci. Right. He has come a long way. He really has. <laughs> Yeah, nice set of teeth and everything. Come on, Lena. Teeth is something else. Chocolate's all amazing. Those teeth are something else. But let's talk a little bit about Kanye West pop-up church. <laughs> Not church is chicken, but pop pop-up church. Man. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? I think it's it's a brilliant way to make money. He uh he, You think he's saving souls? Is it bringing people so. to Christ? No. Um, no, <laughs> like, not at all. Be. No, I'm sorry. He's making some fire remixes though. For, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I be I be hearing some of the stuff he reading. I was like, that's, that's fire. That's fire. That's fire. That's fire. Hey, you got me putting my hands up. Right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, Ryan, thank you so much. You are always a joy. I love, I love, I just love the type of comedian that you are. And if you'd love to see him, if you're in the Atlanta area this weekend, please catch him at the Atlanta Comedy Theater. Let's give it up for Ryan. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.